So some of the most frequently asked questions that we get at what age does perimenopause typically start? Well, most women typically start perimenopause in their 40s, but some start as early as their mid-30s. Just think of it as your body warming up to menopause and everyone is different and the timeline is different. And how long does perimenopause last? Well, the average is about 48 years, but once again, I would say, hey, everyone's different. Every one um, woman experiences differently, some up to 10 years, some may not even experience that at all. How do I know if I'm in perimenopause? Well, I say watch out for these signs. Irregular periods, that's the most telling sign. New PMS symptoms, hot flashes or night sweats, mood swings, sleep disturbances, weight fluctuations, vaginal, um, vaginal dar um, dryness. Can I get pregnant during perimenopause? Absolutely let, yes. If you're still having periods, even if they're irregular, if pregnancy is still possible. So still use protection. What is the average age for menopause? Well, 51 is the average age in the US, but it can typically have between 45, 41, um, 55. Um, so it's basically, once again, 12 months without a period. Another question, how, do, um, how long do menopausal symptoms last? They can last anywhere from two to five years after your last period, but some women might experience symptoms for longer. Everyone has a new normal and is different. Another question, are there treatments for menopausal symptoms? Absolutely. Everything from you got hormone therapy, natural supplements like adaptogens, lifestyle changes. There's even prescription medications, um, alternative therapies like acupuncture. Um, you know, the doctor has to find what works for you. And is um, hormone replacement safe? It is for many women. And just remember, HRT from years ago is different. The key is finding what works for you and making sure that your hormones um, are being tested and you have a knowledgeable um, practitioner. And one of the other things that I always get asked is, um, is how does menopause affect bone um, health? Well, you have lower estrogen, meaning lower bone density, but you can do something about this by protecting your bones, by using weight-bearing exercise, vitamin D, and making sure that you get regular bone density screenings. You And another question I get quite frequently is, um, can diet and exercise help with the with symptoms? Absolutely, yes, that should be your number one thing. Movement, you gotta get out there and move. You gotta get walking. Um, diet, making sure that you're eating a protein-based diet. Lots of fruits and vegetables. Get rid of the alcohol, the caffeine, spicy, um, spicy foods because those can also trigger those menopausal symptoms and those um, that make many women uncomfortable. So once again, those are some of the frequently asked questions that I see in the practice that I have women constantly asking me on social media. So uh, I hope that those answers help, but just remember menopause is different for everyone and you've got to look at it as your menopause.